I, I'm, I'm aware that Will here wanted to discuss piracy because he's interested in a book and uh, he wants to say something about it. So if I, if Will, if you would like to... Well, yes, uh, speak. yes, yes. Well, the, the question of piracy came up. And you can say whatever you like about piracy, John, but don't incriminate yourself because we have many listeners. OK, well... Just be careful what you say. Yeah. But in general, piracy is a, is a, it does exist. The book is called A Manifesto for Teaching Online. We've mentioned it before. It's from um, Ed Edinburgh. Uh, they, they've got a, a centre for studying digital uh, teaching, learning, all these, all these kinds of things. Hmm. If you find our tweets, uh, W-E-N-O-T-N-O, -O, you'll find um, a tweet about event number three. I'm gonna, I'll, re, I'll retweet it in a little bit when the next bit of music is, is playing. Um, but the, the, the general term for this event, which is on Thursday, uh, text has been troubled. And it's about um, plagiarism and blogs and all kinds of things that go on. But I, I think the general term for all this is remix. Yeah, you are right. I mean, I mean, it does go on. I mean, but in recent years, there has been uh, internet... Well, ISPs, I should say, officially, they've been trying to... Uh, they've been actually cracking down on pirates, and, and I think pirates are, are... They make people miserable, to be honest, pirates, because um, what they do is they, they, they download content for free, and I, I really don't agree with them, and, and, and they should be stopped immediately. And, uh, and also, um, yeah, I think, they're, I think they're terrible, um, quite frankly. And unless, uh, when you download a movie... You know, you, if you were, if you download a movie, or if you if you if you the, download the kind of people who do download movies, if John. you're downloading anything, you, you're you're always at risk of not getting the full product that you that you that you that you that you really want. So the, there's a, there's always risk with it. And um, you you if if you download, if you, just say I'm going to use Microsoft as an example. Just say if you download a Microsoft Office from one of these. Uh, Websites, which I disagree with entirely, um, you, you should you, you should be aware for anybody out there that you cannot get any support from Microsoft, and rightly so, from you know any technical support that you might be struggling or you need technical support or help installing it. Uh, you you can't get any of that with a pirate copy of them, um, or uh, you know with pirate with pirate copying anything. So. Um, so, in my estimation, it's always best to buy these things because then you know what you're getting. Uh, so, um, I certainly don't recommend it, and I think it's going out of date anyway. So, anyway, um, no, we'll, there's a we'll, lot less of it than there used to be. Yeah, there is a because, lot. Because, because part of the troubling with um, with with music, then I don't know, ten, twenty years ago, fifteen years ago. Yeah. Whenever, whenever it was, when I mean, people could download stuff Ill illegally, let's say. But there weren't the options around to, to, to download legitimately. So I think the pe people did start paying for downloads, and now there's a lot of people subscribe. Yeah, I mean, there is a lot less of it than there used to be. And it's, and that's simply now, because you've got streaming services, you've got Amazon, Amazon Music, you've got iTunes, you've got Microsoft Store, you've got Google Play, you've got all these platforms that you can, list, you can either listen to music on, which is super convenient, or you can actually buy the digital version of it. Um, but pirates, they're, they're old, but they they are still around, and I think it just, I just think it just makes people miserable. Stay away from it. Uh, it's not recommended by us on Phonic FM. So, so, so pl plagiarism, so plagiarism, John. Well, plagiarism is 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 copying somebody else's. You know, it's just copying, writing word from word, and so if you if you were asked to write an essay for a, a course you were on, yeah, and you just sort of went on the web and said, "I, I can offer you five pounds <laughs> or something," yeah, whatever you thought was a reasonable yeah, offer, yeah, would, would that? What's the point of that, really? Would you get, well, uh, gain anything? Just just going on the web and and well, plagiarism is like. When some when you go on the web and you look at a, a website and then you think oh I can't be bothered to write I'm just gonna I'm just going to use all this person's information and not quote not quote him and or not quote him or her 
in any of it, you know. Oh, I see. So it's not asking. Uh, so your idea w- would not be to get to go on the web and find somebody and pay them some money to write your essay. You just find another essay. Yeah, no, that I'm seem just, to no, be no, answering. No, no, no. I wouldn't do it personally, but that is <laughs> that is what plagiarism is. Oh right, okay, isn't it? Right, yes, okay. What's your idea of plagiarism then? Well, I'm just asking the question, John. Well, I'm, no, I'm, I'm just telling you what. Um, you well, know that. I, d- I do know this because I went to say so, John, 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 you, you, lower your voice a little bit the, the needle's going off the I've scale really, no but I do need to let them know yes um, well, I was at school once unfortunately and uh, uh-huh. it was this and it was it was parts of it was good anyway uh, parts of it was good but parts yeah. of it was quite bad yeah. um, but anyway I, I was very um, well I'm, she's still around today and uh, anyway I have things to do with her um, but anyway, I knew an Ofsted inspector that that that, that uh, and she used to tell me about all kinds of things, and she mm-hmm. was also an exam uh, a vig- uh, vigilator in in uh, her, in her time as well. Right. Um, and she used to have to go around checking people's work for plagiarism. Right. And she used to tell me what uh, plagiarism was, and uh, you know what one of them being. There's all types of plagiarism, and I think that's what he what Will was trying to get at, but. Plagiarism that she used to talk to me about a lot was um, where you go to a website, uh, you could say Wikipedia just for an example in fiction, and yeah. you copy, I don't know, you copy, uh, I don't know, uh, jo- all of John Cleese's information, <laughs> you put it into a Word document, and then you yeah. say, oh, well, that's my essay, and you're not, qu- you know, if you, you can use bits of it, but you have to quote them. Because oh, you, right. you can't, you can't, you wouldn't be able to um, go on to John Cleese's website, nick all the information, and just pretend that was your essay. Because people, people would know that it wasn't your 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 writing. And there are, there is, there is software available that that will actually see if 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 um, will actually tell you now. Whether, whether you know the student or somebody has been going on the internet and just copying pasting information willy nilly, um, yeah. can, they can actually tell whether it can tell. work or not. Yes, uh, but that's plagiarism how I see it. And uh, okay. if Will's got if Will's got um, any more information on what it actually is, well, I, I think well, I'm, no, I've, all I know is I think pl- I'm incorrect. I think plagiarism um, is one of the things that they're talking about. But the, the other thing which I think that is is relevant. We may find out a bit more yes, as time goes yep, on. Yeah. Um, is this business of the journals because what they're, about they're, it? Well, they're very expensive and they're exclusive to universities. A lot of them. Yeah. Um, you've got to have a username and password to yep. access this stuff. Otherwise, it's about twenty-five quid an article or something, which yep. is ridiculous. Yep. Um, so sometimes there's an earlier blog version. Or a pre-publication uh, proof copy or something, yes. which turns up mysteriously somewhere else f- a few months later or previously, whatever. Oh yes, yes. Well, what do you think about that? Well, is that, is that sort of normal? Well, it could be considered normal, I suppose. It just really depends. I mean, be honest. You've just said that the. Um, the you know it, the universities get access to it free for free. Of course they do because they see. Well, somebody's paying for it, but so, the, well, but somebody's paying for it. But yeah, I know what you, I know what you mean. If, if you want to access it as a single user, yeah, you you would you would have to pay twenty five quid for each article. Um, but because they're at university, they probably got they somebody's paying for it, so they the the authors probably give them you know uh, more than one license or something to be able to access yeah. each article or each book yeah. or whatever it may be but yeah no I can certainly see from, from your point of view you would like to be able to access a lot of these articles and you have to pay about 25 quid for for, for them but but no doubt you do probably knowing you well I've, I've um, thought, I've thought I think about it every so often yeah. and, and the books the book's not available it, at the moment Waterstones next to they'll, they'll, they'll order it for you but there, there aren't any no, but it's probably available to the university. Well, I expect the university was one uh, at the beginning of it all, but it may turn up again. But well, I mean, it, it's, poss- it's possible if you if you if you spend a lot of time studying the um, the contents page, you can probably get the contents page online. You might find a blog here and there with similar ideas. Well, yes, but, but anyway, you 
You, one thing you have to be careful with the, with information on the internet. You, I always think it best, and this is just something I generally do. When I'm reading an article on the internet, come back to me. When I'm reading, no, no, not that loud, George. Just, just, when, just don't when, talk so loud. Just stay a bit close to the. Um, when I'm just ignore my colleague, he gets rather excited sometimes. When I'm when I'm trying to um listen when I'm trying to read an article on the internet, I always um to make sure it's reasonably up to date information. I always look I always look for when it's been posted, and that will give you some idea of whether the information is uh not necessarily correct, but you know been posted quite recently. The other thing I want to do to make sure it is correct. Sometimes I'll look for other websites to cross examine the one that I've uh, been looking at to make sure that the information tallies up. Some of the time, uh, that's how I do it. The, well, that's what I see it as. So, yeah, it's not always a good thing to necessarily believe what you're reading online, neither. So, I'm just trying to say to you that that, that even though my colleague is saying that, um, you know, you can find a blog about these things here and there, but always be aware that the blogs might not necessarily be correct as well. So, it's always a good thing to 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 try and find information. Other information available on the internet to back up your 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 original posting or or um or the original uh, article that you found up on found on the internet to make sure it all tallies up. It's just it's just one thing. It's just um uh, another way to make sure that you're reading the right information that you you know. But yeah, no, that's one that's one of the things I would just like to say. And now my colleague can say something. Well, I think we should play some music now, John. I'm sure. It's a, it is a music show. I just felt the producer, JD, was going to bat the phone in and say, get on with it. So I'm going to play, some, I'm going to play a track, okay. which is relevant. It's okay. called I Am Real, and it's by James Brown. <laughs> 